Tommy has a high fever. His mother is worried and takes him to the nearest primary care clinic. Here, she talks to a health worker. Fevers can be caused by many different illnesses and conditions. Malaria, dengue fever, influenza and various other viral, bacterial or parasitic infections, or even some forms of cancer. For some of these diseases, a simple point-of-care test can give the correct diagnosis in less than an hour and allow doctors to prescribe the right treatment. But in low resource settings, diagnostic tests are often lacking, especially in primary health care and remote locations. Tommy and his family live in a malaria endemic region and rapid malaria tests are readily available there. So the doctor tests Tommy for malaria. The result is negative. In the absence of other diagnostics and clear symptoms, the doctor prescribes an antibiotic. A few days later, Tommy is feeling worse and his mother takes him back to the facility. Primary care providers who have no access to testing make incorrect diagnoses in more than two-thirds of patients. Without proper tools, health workers can feel helpless. And without an accurate diagnosis, the patient cannot get the appropriate treatment. The doctor checks clinical symptoms, draws Tommy's blood, takes other samples, and sends them to the laboratory in the nearest hospital for testing. The test results are back in a week, and the child can finally begin treatment. But because diagnosis has come late, Tommy has developed complications, and now he requires more complex and expensive treatment in a different town where the hospital is. Today, Tommy is fine, but many others are not so lucky. The lack of appropriate diagnostics in many countries takes a high toll in human suffering and in healthcare resources. This is why WHO has developed the Model List of Essential In Vitro Diagnostics, EDL, a basket of recommended types of tests to support diagnosis of infectious diseases and non-communicable diseases at each level of the healthcare system. The EDL, first published in 2018 and updated every year, includes tests that have been fully reviewed by an international panel of experts and recommended by WHO. The list can be used by countries to select the diagnostics they need, considering their national circumstances, such as burden of disease, existing diagnostic capabilities, and available resources. By developing and implementing robust diagnostic testing services, countries will empower health workers to make timely diagnoses at an early stage of disease, improve patient care, and save precious lives and scarce health resources. Improved access to appropriate diagnostics is critical to achieving universal health coverage, to addressing health emergencies, and to promoting healthier populations, the three strategic priorities of WHO. The EDL is a resource and a tool for all countries. Get to know it.